Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and thank you for attending this uh, press conference organized by Her Majesty's Government of Gibraltar. The government considers that it is deeply regrettable that the caretaker Spanish Foreign Minister Jose Manuel Garcia Margallo continues to embark on a policy of threats and open hostility and confrontation against Gibraltar, as opposed to a policy of dialogue and genuine desire for cooperation. The reality is that the decision by the United Kingdom to leave the European Union has absolutely nothing to do with the sovereignty of Gibraltar. Mr. Maliayo continues to try to link the two in what is, in our view, a barefaced attempt to take advantage of Brexit in order to advance Spain's outdated and invalid claim. Spain lost Gibraltar in 1704 and then ceded it in perpetuity in 1713. And Mr. Madagallo has evidently not come to terms with that loss over 300 years later. The idea that we might now be redrawing the boundaries of Europe to what they were before 1713 is absolutely absurd and it is not going to happen. Moreover, the principles of the 18th century cannot be applied to a situation that exists in the 21st century. In this day and age, the very concept that a people, however small, can be handed over from one monarch to another against their wishes is something that should be anathema to anyone who calls himself a democrat. The right of self-determination, where people decide their own future freely and democratically, is the only way forward for Gibraltar, and Mr. Madrigallo has to learn to accept that. Moreover, history has shown that the people of Gibraltar will not respond to threats. Gibraltar employs thousands of Spanish nationals. We contribute one quarter of the GDP of the Campo de Gibraltar area, and we are the second largest employer in Andalusia after the Junta de Andalusia. The economic benefits that Mr. Madrigallo has described in a shared sovereignty uh, framework, which could accrue uh, for Gibraltar, could happen today in any normal cross-border friendly relationship. In other words, there is absolutely no need for shared sovereignty in order to have normality. This could happen overnight if Mr. Madrigallo gave up his obsession with Gibraltar and allowed people on both sides of the border to get on with their lives. Importantly, the idea that joint sovereignty could unblock EU legislation, which is what the Spanish ambassador told the United Nations might occur if Gibraltar accepted the package of joint sovereignty proposed, um, is not actually true. This legislation is only blocked because Señor Madrigallo's Partido Popular government undid the Cordoba Accords of 2006. It is up to the Spanish government to unblock the relevant EU legislation immediately and to comply with its EU obligations and its obligations under the Cordoba Accords. Ladies and gentlemen, Gibraltar will never be Spanish. It's not going to be Spanish in four years, in 40 years, in 400 years, in 4,000 years, or in any other longer period of time. Never means never. No means no. And Brexit changes nothing. What we need to do is to agree that the frontier will continue to flow freely so that we can continue to be the economy that provides jobs for 12,000 people, 7,000 of them Spanish, all of them very welcome in Gibraltar, all of whom come here to earn their living. The threat Señor Malagallo makes of closing the frontier belong in the time of the Cold War and not in modern Europe. Mr. Madagallo is creating castles in the sky and avoiding the real issues that need to be dealt with. All of the fantastic prosperity and unblocking of legislation which Spain says can flow only from joint sovereignty can actually flow today without more. It is only the attitude of the Partido Popular government that has resulted in the undoing of the Cordoba Accords that is giving rise to the blocking of EU legislation. We've already done an agreement in that respect in 2006, which Señor Madrigallo is failing to comply with. Now, he expects us to give up our homes just so that we can see him comply with the agreements done already in 2006. 
as in so many other aspects of Spanish diplomacy. Señor Madrallo gets it wrong with Gibraltar and with the Gibraltarians. Threats don't work with us. They never have, and they never will. Sweeteners won't work either. For us, it's not about carrots or sticks, it's about respect. Respect for our inalienable right to self-determination. Respect for the choices we have already made to remain British. And of course, respect for the fact that this is our land and nobody else's. I've already told Senor Jose Manuel Garcia Madrid of the United Nations that it's no way Jose to his proposal. The people of Gibraltar have seen off a long line of Spanish foreign ministers who have all engaged in a quest to recover Spanish sovereignty over Gibraltar. <clears throat> Senor Madrallo will simply be another one in a long list. His policies of coercion, of threats and of confrontation will do little more than cement perpetual British sovereignty over the rock. And for that reason, we do wish that he stays in post for as long as possible. Meanwhile, Her Majesty's Government of Gibraltar stands ready to work with serious interlocutors on what a future mutually beneficial participation for Gibraltar with Europe might be in a post-Brexit world. We are working hard already on this with the UK government and are fully involved in preparations being made by the UK in the run-up to the triggering of Article 50. For those who live in Spain and work in Gibraltar, for those who visit Gibraltar regularly, and for families which are spread across the frontier, I say this, the government of Gibraltar will never be the one that puts up barriers to free movement. We will never threaten your ability to move across the frontier. We will never threaten your ability to do business across the frontier or to see friends or relatives on either side of the frontier. But we will never pay a sovereignty price for anything. Those who put a sovereignty price tag on benefits, prosperity or any other right to advantage do so knowing that it is a price we will not pay. However attractive they may think that the carrot that they are dangling before us might be. We owe it to our ancestors, we owe it to ourselves, and we owe it to our descendants to be steadfast and unwavering on this issue, and we will be. Thank you very much.